All right, Pops, we've got a game that we're going to play today. You ready for You like games? Is this like a new segment? It's a new segment. Is this Blackjack? We are going to. Not Blackjack. We're going to look at four different cars. Yeah. And we are going to have to guess yeah. which one is the most expensive, least expensive, things like that. Okay, that sound good? cool. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I got three what of them is, queued up for yeah. us today. Okay, yeah. Who queued them? James did. So neither of us. So to be clear, shout out, shout out to James for this. Shout out to James. Neither of us know the answers here. You can yeah. play along with us. Yeah, play along at home. This is going to be. Yeah. Which is the highest priced SUV? Okay, and this is new and used. It actually says you can see like if it's new or certified. We can also see how many miles are on it and how long it's been on the market. Okay, we can see yeah. the trim level too. Let's start, and we got to use some deductive reasoning. And it's really? best. It's best two out of three. Like one of us is going to win. Okay. okay. We've got four options. Okay. A 2022 Audi SQ7. Yeah. 61 Ooh. days on the market. It's yeah. the prestige edition. Yes, that's okay. the highest uh, package on an Audi. That is. Or yeah. we've got a 2022 Cadillac Escalade, the premium luxury. Ooh. That sounds, that sounds nice. It does. New, yeah. third option, we've got a 2022 BMW X6. It's the M50i four-wheel drive. So it's not the M. Yeah. The X6M, but it's the highest trim level of the X6, not the M. Then we have a certified pre-owned yeah. 2019 Land Rover Range Rover Supercharged four-wheel drive. Been sitting there for 240 days. It's got 38,000 miles on okay, it. Okay, so I the first question I have to ask is, what is wrong with those folks at Land Rover <laughs> of Alexandria? <laughs> for sure. Okay. Yeah. I? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna let you guess first because oh, I'm gonna, you're gonna let. Well, me, we should we should actually you know what we should do. What no? We should do like we a have three, no rules to this game. I'm making them up as we go. Okay. We should do three, two, one, and we both have to say our answer. That way, we, there's no like. So let me know when you're ready. We can both take a second here to think about it. I'm ready. Three. What are you looking at? You gotta look at me. I don't. I don't want you to cheat. I'm not cheating. I'm just trying to remember what <laughs> car I picked. <laughs> ready? Yeah. Three, two, two one. Land Cadillac. Rover. All right. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I've got a, another. We'll pull it up in a second here. We'll, yeah. we'll see who is right. Now, which car? Well, wait, come on. What another, come on. Not which, which one was it? All right. All right. All right. I mean, what good is it to, to do it? <laughs> then, you know, say, okay, now we'll, we'll come back in an hour. <laughs> it was the, wow, it was the BMW. Wow. It was 99000 so the BMW has yeah. a, a list price of nine. And this, yeah, we should have said yeah. this is not the MSRP. This is like what it's advertised at. Yeah. Advertised at $99,325. Okay. The Range Rover was $95,750. The Cadillac is $97,795. So yeah. And the SQ7, yeah. $96,915. Wow. All right. So round number one goes to Pops. You were closer. Well, I don't know. Is that how it works? Right, we're making the rules up as we go. Okay. Yeah. He's excited, folks. <laughs> Very excited. Not really. <laughs> Which car has the, the lowest, lowest price? price. Okay? okay. Yeah. Let's take a peek. Okay. We've got four options again. Yeah. We've got a 2003 Mercedes-Benz S-Class, an yeah. S430 four-wheel drive. Yeah. It's worth noting this is used, just to be clear. Yeah. 82,000 miles so. on it being sold by our dear friends over at h and Auto. What do you think H&R stands for in H&R Auto? Henry and Ralph. Definitely Henry and Ralph. Yeah. Then we've got, it's 123 days on the market. Then we have a used 2007 BMW 3 Series 328i yeah. rear-wheel drive. And supposedly it's been on the market for nearly 1,000 days. So it probably hasn't. It's probably just been moving from lot to lot. But anyway, you've yeah, got. I mean, I'm not buying that for, uh, yeah, go but ahead. It's, but yeah. it's. You got an yeah. old BMW. Yeah, no, you do. We've got a 2011 yeah. Lincoln NKZ. Yeah. Hybrid. Hybrid, yeah. I didn't know Lincoln With a hybrid back in 2011. Miles, yeah. 17 days on the market. Yeah. North American auto liquidators. Ooh. That makes me see. That makes you feel like it's a lower. Oh price. no, you got to You got to feel good about that. You know, and right after you get the car, you can go over to lumber liquidators <laughs> and fill it up on hardwood flooring. Yeah. All right, and then we've got a 2003 yeah. used Jaguar X Type. It's the base model. Yeah, 113,000 miles on yeah. it. Loudon Motor Cars. Yeah, and Loudon Chantilly, uh, Virginia. Yeah, Chantilly, Virginia. Yeah. I don't know. You, you don't know. What okay. are you thinking? Oh, I know. You know? I'm how do you, how do dads I, always know these I, things? I, I know. How do dads know? I know. What's your rationale? Um, what, what's my rationale? Because it's the biggest POS <laughs> on there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Jaguar. Jaguar. All right. Let's see. 
Let's see. <laughs> Moment of truth. It is. It is the Jaguar. It, yeah. All right. So that the, was that was way too easy. The Jaguar has an advertised price of six thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. Probably just, <laughs> probably just I don't know four thousand more than it should be. That's scary to think. Yeah. The MKZ was seven thousand eight hundred eighty four dollars. The BMW three series was eight thousand five hundred. Excuse me, three hundred and fifty seven dollars. And the used Mercedes Benz S class from two thousand and three, a list price of nearly eight yeah grand. Look at that. That's. Kind of scary to think that someone would pay that much. Yes. Okay. Which Toyota is the most expensive? Is the most expensive? Has the highest asking and price? And again, this is advertised price. So this is yeah. like with additional dealer markups and everything. Yes. Which one do we think it is? Yes. We've got a new, these yeah. are all brand new, no. 2022 Toyota Highlander, the yeah. XLE trim, four wheel drive. Okay. Okay. Uh, we've got a 2022 Toyota Venza, the yeah. limited yeah. four wheel drive. Okay. We've got a 2022 Tacoma TRD Sport. Obviously. Well, maybe it's not obvious, but it's a four-wheel yeah. drive trim. Yeah. And then we've got a 2022 Toyota Avalon, the Touring. Yeah. Uh, front-wheel drive. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. All right. What's going through my head is I know Auto Nation likes to, but I also know Coons likes to, everyone likes to, hmm. What's going yeah. through your head? Um, well, the fact that the Avalon's a front-wheel drive yeah, and not, not an all-wheel drive. To me, that's not going to be the most yep, expensive yep. one. Personally, I think it's between the Highlander and the Tacoma. All right. So we're on the same page here. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see which one of us yeah. is right. Three, yeah. two, one. Highlander. Taco. All right. Let's see. You're going with the Taco. I'm going. It was the, the freaking Venza? Venza. What? What? Wow. But the Tacoma was second. The Venza's $50,990 advertised price. The Tacoma, $50,242 advertised price. That Avalon is expensive, $47,525. Yeah, Avalon's a, but, it, but it, the fact that it was a front wheel yeah, drive yeah. Is, is what gave it away that it wouldn't be. And the Highlander, $48,178. Yeah. Yeah. All okay. right, so we have a winner here. Well, really? I only, we tied. How did we tie? Well, because... You got the first one closer, you got the last one closer, and we both got the middle one right. Yeah, but there, I don't remember reading the rules that it was, you win if you get it closer. See, we, this is a generational difference that you're yeah. witnessing right here. This yeah. is like, I take uh, participation yeah, this, awards, yes, yes. and you're like, no, I have to win fair and square. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't win anything. You won. Take your participation trophy. Well, you did. You did. You you played well, honey. <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below what you want to see us do next time. Yeah. Give us some category ideas. Yeah. James will ask you to queue them up. I, yeah. I this was fun. This yeah, is hard, no. but this is fun. Yeah. I you know, who knew? Apparently neither one of us. <laughs>